Ten seconds out. Stand by on the floor. Have a good show, everybody. Five, four, three, two, one. Stand by, and we're hot. Mike Hugh. A day later, how B. a mid-Missouri runner deals with the shock from Boston. B is in. More dollars for the classroom. What your money is going Stand by to pay A. For. A's in. And long Thank rainy days mics. will it lead to concerns Stand by. along the big muddy KMU8 news at uh, six. Open out of Starts now. Thunder. Thunder's in. From Studio 8A. Coverage you can count on in high definition. Stand by. This is cold open VO. VO's in. It looks empty now, but President Obama called the Boston Losing bombings super. an act of terror on civilians. Fives in. Three dead and more than 170 hurt. Bringing the President out the orders law Su enforcement to be on the alert Dual anchors out. around the country. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jim Reek. And I'm Brittany Pieper. KOMU 8 sent our reporter, Asker, Stand by Asker to Boston to follow up on the local runners caught in the middle of this tragedy. He spent the day following up on yesterday's events and joins us now live from Boston with more. Asker? He's in. I'm just in front of Boylston Street where the explosions went off, about 100 yards behind me here, behind all those cars. Today the street is closed as law enforcement are trying to investigate the circumstances around these bombings. Take a look at this, some of this footage from earlier today. VO a lot and of the VO people I spoke to today used Camera words four is going to go panic, ahead and spin. Panic and shock that this tragedy has happened. Uh, several people were actually crying while they were putting flowers for the big Blue Super, the stand by Sot. Uh, a lot of the mid-Missouri runners that were in the race uh, left this morning, one but I met up with one couple from side. Columbia who revisited the hotel where they were when the explosions went off, just two blocks away. Sots in. Blue Super. Audio's a little quiet here. All I could think of was try to boost it. This husband friend of mine and his wife and us is just get the heck out of downtown Boston, get away as fast as we could. I'm relieved that everybody was okay. Super's that in. We're all safe. Lose it. We found out. We found Same everybody. by live shot with live it was, bug. It was very nerve wracking at the time, but it, we were very relieved as soon as we found out that everybody was all right. Dyson told me Ooh, good, that good, the uh, incident good timing. has created by a sense first of fear in the couple, and they will not be returning for the next marathon next year in Boston. It's reporting live in Boston, Ask Mo, KMU 8 News. And first weather is in. Thank you, and Dave. Central Missouri, another very rainy day. We picked up just about a quarter of an inch of precipitation, but just so you know, we're about four and a half inches for the month of April so far, and we're five inches above Graphics average. Graphics in, standby five center left. So far. Well, we still have a few showers and thunderstorms out there, but most of those have moved off toward the east. So we we'll come out of first weather with an OTS on Brittany on camera five. During the overnight hours, but it hasn't warmed up very much. We're at 45 degrees today. 46 was our high, and you can tell that those temperatures are pretty consistent all the way across the board throughout central Missouri. Mostly cloudy, and I'd say very cloudy all the way through the forecast period. We may again see some more showers and thunderstorms Same by five. The overnight hours toward sunrise. More on the forecast is coming up for you on KOMU 8 News at 6. Five's in. A Columbia Same senator says the federal agency tasked with regulating firearms may have a list of all of the concealed carry permit holders in Missouri. Columbia Senator Kurt Schaefer says documents released Stand through the subpoena graphic. show the ATF and Social Security Administration jointly requested a list of concealed and carry permit holders from the Highway Patrol. Testimony last week revealed the Department of Revenue gave that list to the patrol, when it, which it then handed over to the feds. Graphics Six in. Six days ago, the Department of Revenue first denied Stand by and then with CG. the Highway Patrol had asked for the concealed carry list. Both the patrol and federal agencies have changed their story several times since then. Governor Nixon calls the controversy a diversion, but the revelations drew angry reactions on the Senate floor. So that's in standby six. This is ridiculous enough. This is like an Orwellian novel on steroids. And yet Governor Jeremiah J. Nixon continues to sit on the second floor and do nothing about this, what personal judgment is, what you're seeing is a major That's a little how I'm going to bring that to down. Change people's Same by six for the not tag. Not only the public's focus of attention over something that is that is that, that in this corner, and to ignore what just happened right here. 
300,000 people won't have health care. Six is in. Stand by five. Senate Republicans have called for hearings around the state on how the collection of this data affects ordinary Missourians. Five's in. Also in Jefferson City, the Missouri legislature is calling for more funding for public schools. The House Graphic. put a $66 million bonus in its budget on Sot. top of the $3 billion already budgeted for schools. This package will run the Senate Appropriations one minute, 12 seconds. The extra $65 million. According to legislative rules, the final amount must fall between 65 and 66 million. KOMU 8's Eric Hilt takes a look at how the extra money would impact local schools. Sets in. Okay. Funding for our schools is a hot button Four issue. Four is moving to the touchscreen. Lawmakers screen. are taking action. Last week, the Missouri Senate okayed a $65 million bonus for the state's public schools. The increase in funding comes as especially good news for the Hall Next School District, 21, which relies more on state funds than other larger school districts. We're about 60% state revenue. So anything that happens in Jeff City really yeah, uh, hang on, I may not be able to during the break. A 2% increase means 2% nope. more money for books and other supplies, or Losing super. most importantly for Robertson, more money for educators. To me, the, the number yeah. one uh, See my six. most important expense. Uh, we are about 30 seconds out. On instruction and on to increase <laughs> <the> achievement. <laughs> but is 2% enough? Robertson says the increase in funds won't get school funding back to where it was before budget cuts in the late 2000s. We went through a about lot of 10 cuts seconds out the 2009-2010 school year. So that's not really enough. But even though Robertson would like to see a higher increase, he says every little bit of extra money helps educate students. Same by 6. Can we wait news? Also. Six. Stand by the five. The appropriation committee also approved a small raise for state employees along with the school funding increase. Five's in. A Columbia man is in Howard County Jail tonight facing charges of stealing by deceit through his tax preparation business. Graphics made in. Made Stand by four. The touch screen. to a Glasgow couple when preparing their 2011 tax returns. They say the couple wrote checks totaling about $13,000 to Keithley over the course of four months. A24 and 25 to are dropped. Some answers and joins us here in the studio. Katie? Four is in. Jim, we, were, we received a phone call last night from a person who didn't give their name but said this had happened, so I drove to Fayette this morning just to check it out. I talked A24 to one of the and A25 are on dropped, phone. refreshing didn't Ignite. I didn't want to talk much about it or go on camera, so I went to the Howard County Sheriff's Department. The chief Leo's investigator in. You, you copy on that, Chris? had been arraigned this morning and is cool, now in you. the Howard County Jail on a $75,000 uh, Once we get off, Katie, I'm going gonna, gonna, gonna to change five. To, I'm going to change uh, A28 to five on the weather monitors. His company. Sat's in. Or VO. And they trusted Trabio's him. In. And so Losing they super. issued uh, several checks to him. In the uh, hang on, we're going to have to wait. Wait to cue her. Uh, hang on, wait, wait, wait. Cue her? They now. There we go. out of his Fayette office with no signs for his name or business. Four is in. I also looked into Keefley's history today as well, trying to find out if he's been charged with this type of crime in the past. Well, it turns out he has several times. Take a look at this. You can okay. see he, here uh, he's let's been get another refresh in six in. other criminal cases. For example, here in 2006, he pled okay. guilty Again, uh, in after the theft the, uh, case. Now, as for the will be on camera case, five. Keefley, Keefley's I'm gonna go and first get back court appearance is to Katie. Stand by five. Grandin says he could face charges up to several years in prison. Fives in. It seems like it's been raining for about two or three weeks straight. Constantly. Mm -hmm. Coming up, we'll tell you what that means for our creeks and rivers. Uh, a national competition. Same why a mid Missouri family is same crossing its fingers five. for a new is my ride. CGs are not coming up. And fives in. And it's not over yet. Tomorrow could be another stormy day. We'll talk about it next on KOMU 8 News. That's it. And break is in.